Hi, this is real estate attorney and legal blogger Roy Oppenheim from The Trenches. I want to go over with you all today a little bit what's going on with the Obamacare real estate sales tax. There are a lot of misnomers out there that this, is, this tax is somehow going to uh, destroy uh, the real estate market, particularly the residential real estate market in the United States. And I want to make clear that, first of all, that is not the case. The only individuals who will be subject to this tax, and I know it's a little complicated, so just stick with me if you can, are those people who make $250,000 a year if they're married, but $200,000 individually. But it doesn't mean that you're automatically going to be subject to that tax. You have to have also made a $500,000 gain on the sale of your home. Now, maybe you know people who make $500,000 on the sale of their home. After, most, after all, most people have negative equity in their home. They certainly aren't going to be making a half million dollars on their home. But let's just for a moment pretend you are one of those people who make over $250,000 a year as a married couple, and you do have a $500,000 gain on your home. If that is the case, the increment over $500,000, let's say you, you had a gain of $600,000, the increment, the $100,000 ta- uh, gain, would then be subject to a 3.8% surtax, sales tax, increase in capital gains tax, whatever you may want to call it, uh, and thus you would you would pay 3.8% on the $100,000. But that would only be if you made over $500,000 on the sale of your home. And again, most people are underwater in this country. In Florida, you know, half the people are underwater, and throughout the country, at least a third of the people are underwater. So most people aren't going to be making a half million dollars on the sale of their home. And further, you have to also be an individual making $200,000 a year or a married couple making two fifty. dollars So the reality is that this Obama uh, care a real estate sales tax surtax will have a limited impact on the real estate market when it comes to residential. Now, On the commercial side, it will apply to any commercial transaction. It will apply to the sale of second homes. It will apply to investment income uh, real estate. And so there will probably be some drag on the real estate market as it relates to the commercial side. But in terms of residential real estate, generally, I think you all should just not really consider that a major factor uh, in the equation. Roy Oppenheim from the trenches. Thank you. (laughs) Thank <laughs> you.